Hello everybody, this is Dream back to kick off round 7 for group A, the final round in this group. We are beginning the final round of group matches. By the end of this round, we will know our final 32. But we've got to deal with group A first, so let's have a look at our fight card for group A. So you can see our main event, it is a massive match between Sunlight Rabbit and Conciliatory Past. Victory for Conciliatory Past. All but knocks out Aster and Crown over. And well, Sunlight Rabbit, after that, that defeat in the previous rounds, not sitting pretty. So it's plenty of stake for them too. But before that, we have got Raybone versus Aster. Raybone already out, looking to finish on a high. Victory for Aster gets them into third. Likewise for Crown over, when they take on gold. Crown over needs a win. Only, well, ideally a bonus point win to put more pressure on conciliatory pass, but a win puts them above conciliatory into four on the head-to-head -head. but at first we've got a clash at the top between black beauty and dexin right in the red corner for black beauty we got super eel carcaria awaken mode on three and well black beauty's already gonna have terrain advantage six out of six so far for black beauty looking to make it seven wins on the spin going into that knockout round standing in their way however in the blue corner for dexin we got Utahraptor. Dexin also enjoying a good tournament so far. And there is a stipulation here where a 3-0 win and Dexin can win this group. But that does seem very unlikely, especially on this field, with the terrain advantage that Black Beauty is going to get. But a win for Dexin, can they end Black Beauty's 100% winning start? Which will give them huge confidence going into that knockout round. And a win for Dexin also secures second place as well, which is vital because I believe second place you'll be on the other side of the draw. Where Black Beauty, where you won't have to face Black Beauty or you won't have to face Maastrician the champ. So that is something to be aware of. Maastrician and Black Beauty could be on the same side of the draw. And if Dexin gets second in this group, they'll be on the other side which at the minute is looking more favourable. But yeah, that's a big shot from Black Beauty. And that's actually the first hit of the match. Okay, there's a crit from the Uteraptor. Twice. That's another tie. And that's a tie. And yet, and yet, there it is. Utahraptor going down. That guarantees Black Beauty will win Group A. And they will be on the side of the draw with Maastrician. Not much of a reward there, is it? <laughs> anyway, coming in next for Dexin, we've got Spinosaurus. Well, top spot is gone for Dexin, but they can still win this match. And make a statement of intent going into that knockout round. And secure second place at the same time. And the Spino gets the hit. It's a tragic sphere. Can the Eocarcaria survive to get a chance of an awakened hit? Yes, it does. Wow, this is not good for Dex in here. Oh, that's definitely not good. That's a crit. Big shot from Black Beauty. And a Flare Sword as well. With the Brachyceratops coming in with a terrain advantage as well. That's probably going to be all she wrote for Spino. Massive hit from Black Beauty. Okay, Dexin does get the next hit. Eocarcaria does go down. Right, coming in next for Black Beauty, we've got the Blitz-type Brachyceratops. Well, it's got terrain advantage, so that will happen first, and then it'll go for its two crits. And in fact, that terrain hit is going to be a crit. Bum, 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 bum. Let's have a look. Is that lethal? Yeah, I thought it would be. Right, coming in third for Dexin, we got the Sorofagonax. 
Now, what's interesting here is because the Brachyceratops has to go for its two crits, Sorophagonax has a good chance here of getting a crit of his own, which would get Dexin right back in this contest, and it's got the recovery as well. So Dexin is not out of this yet. We dare not count Dexin out. Right, crit number one. Okay, that's a tie. The Plasma Anchor does not activate. Oh, he gets that crit though. Almost forgot to do it again. But gets that crit. Okay, it wasn't on 10, so the Blitz buff doesn't activate. But it is a crit from the Brachyceratops. Ooh, but the Faganax. Getting a recovery on the board. Getting a Magma Blaster. This is good from Dexin. Although they are still playing catch up in this match. Whoa, look at that! Massive hit from the Faganax. Actually, now that I think about now that I remember, this Brachyceratops does in fact have Dino Stuffer. Oh, we're gonna see it, yeah. Dino Stuffer gonna stop that firebomb. But the Brachyceratops is going down. Dexin getting back in this match. And now actually has type advantage here. Because coming in third for Black Beauty. We got Ace Dino Tactor. Can Dexin get this win? And stop Black Beauty from winning 7 out of 7 in the group stage. This is actually turning into quite a good match, even though there's not much at stake here. Because they're both already through, and now we do now we know that Black Beauty has won the group. Still plenty at stake. It's still, you know, an intriguing match. And that's another hit from Dexin. Closing the gap dramatically. Okay, the Dino Illusion is gonna be a big problem for him though. Okay, that's a tie. Dino Tector could be a factor here. Another tie. And Ace is tied defense type, so ties now favor Black Beauty. Okay, there's a there's a hit. That would have been a firebomb. That, that would have been lethal. And that would have been Dexin's victory, but the Dino Illusion stopped it. Oh, but, oh that's a recovery as well. Black Beauty striking the hit. Oh, is, is Black Beauty going to make it 7 out of 7? Yes, they are. It is 7 wins from 7 in the group stage for Black Beauty in a truly incredible tournament. I will say, Dexin did put up a really good fight, but that... I can't really think where it really went wrong for him. I think the Dino Stuffer... Well, they, they were basically a Dino Illusion away from winning. So yeah, they are a little unfortunate, but that's how it goes. And Black Beauty. Wow, what a tournament they're having. And Dexin will probably have to wait till the other matches are done to see if he's done enough to get second. Right, on to our next matchup. And I will say, I will put a as-it-stands table at the start of each matchup for these uh, group games. Right, in the red corner for Crown Over, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Well, you know the narrative if you're crying over, win and you're in that top four. But lose and it's all over. And a victory would put them above conciliatory pass by virtue of the head-to-head. -head. But then they would have to hope that Aster does not win against Raybo. And Sunlight Rabbit beats conciliatory pass without conciliatory pass getting a losing bonus point. So that's the narrative for crying over. But first things first, they've got to do their bit. Right, in the blue corner for gold, we got Stegosaurus. Gold already out of the tournament. Just looking to finish on a high. We start with a tie. Oh, that's a crit from the Steg. That's not a good start for Cryon over. Now, gold has been a slow starter in these 
in these matches throughout the tournament. Although they got off to a quick, they're getting off to a quick start here. Massive hit. And an earth barrier to boot, but good response from Crown Nova getting off the triple head, but that gets up the earth barrier. And it will lower stage technique as well, so that it will increase, decrease the likelihood of more earth barriers. And the attack boost activating as well, increasing the attack power of the Atrox. Gets a tie. Oh, but it is gold getting that hit. That is going to put him 1 0 up. Atrox is going down. Right, coming in next for Cryonova, we've got Sukamimus. Well, it's not been a good start from Cryonova in this match, but it's still far from over. But every Dino has to contribute, and if they do get through and pull this off, they'll have a match against MEJP10 in the last 32 rounds. It's a tie. But very dangerous game to go for that scissors. Okay, there's a hit. A galley rush coming in. Crown over chipping away at this Stegosaurus. Oh, but that's a crit! That's another spike arrows! That could be devastating. Massive hit from Gold. That's two spike arrows they've got off in this match. And both of them have hit really hard. Boy, but he almost killed it. Oh, that wasn't good. Can he at least... Oh, the random number generator is playing it. Pause. Can he at least get a hit here to take out this Steg before losing the Sukumimus? Well, we don't know because the random number generator is not generating a number. Oh, it's not generating a thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's a free. Ooh, he does get a crit. Okay, so, well, it doesn't matter, but he does get the hit that takes out the stack. And that's all that matters. Would have liked the Futaba carrying on something with a bit more HP, but they'll take the hit nonetheless. But Gold still has a decent lead in this match. Right, up next for gold, we've got Acrocanthosaurus. Now, unfortunately, the Suko is on really low health, so this could have been a real opportunity for Crown Nova to take advantage of the type of advantage that the Suko would have got. Well, Sukumimus goes down. At least it took out the Steg, but Crown Over has it all to do now. Right, coming in third for Crown Over, we got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Well, he would have had type advantage over Ampelosaurus in third as well. So this was actually a favourable matchup for Crown Over, but that Stegosaurus has done so much damage. Those two spike arrows have done so much damage. Okay, there's a hit, a banana surprise. A move removal would be brilliant here for Crown Nova. Can they get it? Oh, they don't. Oh, Akro gets a fire cannon. This is going to do damage. Is this the end for Crown Nova? You know, they've done so well to get even into a position where they can still get out of this group. But have they given themselves too much to do? I think they have. But you have to say those two spike arrows have done the damage. Okay, a counter blitz has been triggered, but Crown Nova has 
all ever all of it, all the work in the world to do. Okay, there's the counter blitz. But stop, that keeps him alive. But he needs this next hit. Oh no, that's it! That's it for Crowd over there. Done in this tournament. Gold gets the win, and it's a bonus point win for Gold. I mean, it doesn't change anything for them, but it does allow them to finish on a high, and it does take out Crown over, and they fall at the group stage. They left themselves too much to do in the end, and, well, they did well to take it to the last round. They just ran out of gas. Right, on to our third matchup now. Ooh, a good field for Asta. Right, in the red corner, for Raybo, we've got Paris Dino Tector. Well, Raybone is already out of this tournament, but looking to finish on a high. And if they do win here, they do take Aster out. And that will mean our top four will be decided before our main event. <laughs> right, in the blue corner for Aster, we have got Alpha Kendrosaurus. This Kendrosaurus will get terrain advantage. It's been a real asset for Aster so far in this tournament. Victory for Asta here takes them up to third and guarantees their place in the last 32 round. No matter what the result of the main event is. Right, there's a terrain hit. Oh no, but... Ooh, some poison as well. Good start from Asta. They needed it. Asta does have the head-to-head -head over Sunlight Rabbit, which is crucial. Ooh, that's not the greatest hit there. The type of vantage helping Paris sustain little damage, but an Earth Barrier will help. The poison will chip away at Paris's HP. This is a good start from Asta. But with type advantage that this Paris has, Back and all change in a heartbeat. Oh, but it won't here because the Kentrosaurus is going to down Paris and give Aster a 1 0 lead. And, and poisoned it again. <laughs> right, coming in next for Raybone, we got Alpha Rajasaurus. Rajasaurus star. Well, this is not a good start for Raybone here. Kind of going out with a whimper at the minute. Okay, there's a tie. That triggers the Quake Saber again. Another tie. Third tie. Oh, there's another Quake Saber. This is exactly what Asta wants. That's gonna. might put him 2 0 up here. Raybone has just not had a hit in this match yet. Ooh, now that makes things a little bit interesting. Deathfire getting triggered. They don't get it. It's Asta getting the hits. Another banana surprise. And that is 2-0 to Asta. This is exactly what they needed. And well, a bonus point win would, well, really help. Well, it doesn't matter what win they get. As long as they win, they'll go through. Right, coming in third for Raybone. We've got Super Verizinosaurus. Awaken mode on three. Raybone kind of going out with a whimper here at the minute. Not happening for them. Okay, there's a hit, and in fact, I think that's their first shot in the entire match. And yet, there goes the Earth Barrier that's been in effect for like ages. <laughs>
Right, that's one. Oh, that's a tie. That triggers you know what again. That's another tie. And the Kentrosaurus finally goes down. Boosh. Right, I just want to check the Awaken mode is on three. At least I hope it is. And it is. Right, coming in next for Asta, we got Megalosaurus. It's going to be secret on secret here. Can this Megalosaurus finish the job for Asta? They still have a pretty decent cushion to fall back on. But they don't want to leave it too thin because the nerves will start to set. And the fairy still has the chance of an awakened hit. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Getting a lot of those in this match. Oh, that's another hit from the fairy. Another galley rush coming in as well. Raybone clawing back into this match. Right, that's twice. One more for the Awaken mode. And if Asta's not careful, this fairy could have a chance at an awakened hit on the Lambiosaurus Magna Crusaders. Oh, it's going to! It's gonna get a chance to get an awakened hit on that Magna Crusaders. That could be huge. And Asta, all of a sudden, from sitting comfortably 2-0 up with a Kentrosaurus, is now looking a lot more shaky. The Raybone coming right back into this match. Awake and an awakened hit could spell disaster for Asta. Right, coming in third for Asta, we got Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. He's gonna have to perform here. This Therizinosaurus hasn't been hit. I mean, it's been hit with ties, but it hasn't actually been hit. It's got an awake an awakened hit as well, possibly. If Asta can survive the awakened hit, they'll have a good chance because it will half the fairy's health. But they really have left this to chance. Okay, there's a hit. That should settle the nerves down. But it is awakening time. One awakened hit can swing this match 180. Oh, but Asta gets it. That's a crucial hit. That could be that could be the hit that does it. A tile do it for Asta. Ooh, but Raybone gets a hit and a recovery as well. That means a tie is not going to be enough. A galley rush coming in. This is this is going down to the wire. Raybone, they're going down with a fight here. Yeah. If they do lose, they've gone down fighting. Ooh, that recovery probably means that the Magna Crusade is going to have to get two hits to, for the win here. Unless they get a crit. Which they do! That's going to seal the deal! It is Asta's victory! It got nervy at the end, but they get it over the line. They get through to the last 32 round. It doesn't matter what the result is in the main event. Asta will be in the last 32 round. Finishing either third or fourth. They have done their job. And they are going through. And Raybone, well, you know, they put up a late fight back. They definitely made things nervy. But that is it for them in this tournament. Now then, on to our main event. And after that third result, it's a, it's a winner takes all. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got an orange Triceratops. And actually... Both our guys will get terrain advantage in this match. Sunlight Rabbit with this Triceratops. And Conciliatory Pass with his Super Triceratops in third. Right, come in the blue corner for Conciliatory Pass. We've got the Irritator. Well, both of these two have enjoyed, had a strong start to the tournament, but both of them have stuttered as of late. And yeah, it is all or nothing for both of these two. A win, and whoever wins will go through, knocking the uh, loser out. A draw, and Sunlight Rabbit will go through, 
to face MEJP10. But the consensus is that we'll probably see a winner in this match. And if they do win, I can't remember who they'll play. But they'll avoid MEJP10, put it that way. And Asta will face MEJP10 in that knockout round. But it's a good start from Sunlight Rabbit, a lightning strike. The Triceratops has the type advantage over this Irritator. This Irritator has been a real menace for a lot of teams in this group. But so far, proving no problem for Sunlight Rabbit. Oh well, it's been no problem for them, isn't it? Going down. Just like that. Right, coming in next for Conciliatory Pass, we've got to counter us. Both of, the, both of these newcomers have had really good tournaments. It, it is a shame that one of them is going to go out here. But that's just how it goes. If it's Sunlight Rabbit that goes out, then you look at the match against Asta as the one that definitely cost them. If it's Conciliatory Pass, then... Well, the last two matches against Black Beauty and this one. But they get a crit here, a Dino Swing. Strike getting their first strike of the match. And they needed it. Ooh, but the trike gets off another lightning strike. Sunlight Rabbit extending that lead. Okay, the Kandrora is getting another hit. It's a Tail Smash. I think it's counter type as well, so it's going to do a bit more damage here. Oh, almost killed it! Almost killed it! Oh, but let's get off a lightning spear! Is it got no, it's Gatling Spark. That's going to be a big shot from Sunlight Rabbit. Oh, it's lethal! It's 2-0 to Sunlight Rabbit! But it won't stay 2-0. Because coming in next for conciliatory pass, we got Super Triceratops. Awaken mode on free. It does have terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit in this match. And it will be a rocket. And it gets that hit because the other Triceratops already used its terrain advantage. So that's why conciliatory pass Triceratops will still get a terrain hit. Even though that the other trike has terrain advantage, it's already used that terrain advantage. And well, it's not much of a hit because it just takes it out anyway. Right, coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we've got a Pathosaurus. I can't remember if they have the head to head over Dexon. But if they get a bonus point win here, I'm pretty sure they do go above them in the table. So they'll finish second. Well, they could finish second. And things are looking good for them in this match. But it's still a long way to go. And remember, conciliatory pass. Still has an awakened hit, possibly. Is it tight? Okay, there's a hit. A lightning spear. Um, This has not been a great showing from Conciliatory Pass so far. Compared to the earlier showings where it looked really good. But, oh, hang on. What we got here? An electric charge. They are coming back into this. Ooh, but the Apathosaurus does get the next hit. Right, that's twice. Oh, that's another hit. Okay, it is going to be awake in time. Can Sunlight Rabbit survive this? Oh, all the secret moves have been triggered as well. Oh, they can, and they get a Megawatt Stomp. And that is probably going to be it for Conciliatory Past. That was Last Chance Saloon. But Sunlight Rabbit got the hit. Uh, yeah, that's it. Surely that's it. And that tile sealed the deal. And it is the end for Conciliatory Past in this tournament. And Sunlight Rabbit gets the win. A bonus point win. Right, we're going to have a look at the final table for Group A, and we're going to have a look at where everyone is positioned in the knockout rounds. Right, so that is the final table for Group A, ladies and gentlemen. So Black Beauty, 7 out of 7. 
undefeated in this tournament alongside MEJP10 sitting on 23 points. Now that will be a points record for a team in the group stage, well a human team anyway. The actual record is 27 set by a bot team like during my second tournament. The only other tournament where I've had eight teams in one group. But I don't want the bot to get, to get the record so I will give it to a human. So I will give it the Black Beauty, provided that MEJP10 doesn't get any more points in this tournament. But yeah, well done to Black Beauty for finishing top. Then we have Sunlight Rabbit climbing up to second with our bonus point win on 16 points. And that is big for them because they will be on the other side of the draw, away from Black Beauty and Mastership. Then we have Dexin in third, who unfortunately is condemned to that side of the draw. And Aster in fourth who will play MEJP10 in the knock in the last 32 rounds. So let's have a look where these guys are positioned. And then we've got these poor four saps bowing out at the tournament. And yeah, it happens. You know, I think Conciliatory Pass definitely did better than I thought they would. I mean, Cryonova did worse than I thought they would. <laughs> and these two, well, they, they probably, yeah, probably about right. Raybone in particular has been unlucky because they have had quite a lot of losing bonus points. So Raybone in particular, unlucky to finish bottom of this group. But that's just how it goes. Right, let's have a look at where these four guys are in the knockout round. But yeah, you can see the knockout bracket here and you can see the uh, divide. And you can see uh, Maastrician and Black Beauty on this side. Then we have Dexin up here, going to take on whoever finishes runner-up in Group D. That could be Ultima Dino King. That'll be a tasty encounter. We have Sunlight Rabbit over here taking on whoever finishes third in Group F, which could pretty much be anybody. It could be Dino Hunter, Anvil, Blood Moon, Heady, even Martin Soto, I think, believe. And down here, where we are, actually have our first matchup confirmed for the last 32 round, it will be MEJP10 taking on Asta. That's going to be a big ask for Asta in that matchup. As the reward they get for scraping through the group stage. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta.